and I'm uh, going to demonstrate to you a project that I've built called the Tesla Guitar. Now, what this is, is a Tesla coil that you can play from an electric guitar as if it was a guitar amp, except uh, it produces enormous bolts of lightning that reproduce the musical notes that you're playing. It's an extremely rough and nasty sounding instrument. It's quite a hard instrument to practice as well because the neighbours get annoyed in no time at all. It's incredibly loud and really quite uh, vicious sounding. It's ideal. If there are any heavy metal guitarists out there, this could be just the thing you need to take your tone over the edge. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, which basically means you can identify something using radio waves. RFID works with a reader and a tag. The tag has a small coil of wire attached to a small microchip, and when this tag is brought within proximity of the reader, an identification number is transmitted. Pets have been getting implants, kind of like this one here. It's a small glass tag. Uh, it has a small uh, antenna in it and a, and a chip. Uh, pets and veterinarians have been using that forever, but now it's starting to make its way into human use. Um, I actually have an implant in my left hand and my right hand. Uh, my left hand here has a 3mm by 13mm EM4102 tag, which is just basically a read-only tag. And so I present it to the reader, and I get the ID back there. Well, the reason I put an RFID tag in my left hand uh, was initially to get rid of my keys. Uh, well, actually, I, I, I put RFID into my front door and my computer login. Uh, I had even a safe at one time that I could present the tag to and it would open the, the fire safe. Um, but uh, car door and motorcycle, uh, they were just easy to do and cheap. So you present a tag to it, uh, it reads it, and if it's in that list, it starts the motorcycle. I'm standing outside of Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg, Florida, getting ready to go inside and watch game one of the Major League Baseball American League Division Series. And I'm also going to be showing off the world's first LED fan sign. But first, let's make it. The first step is to pick up some sticker paper, and then I loaded Photoshop and designed the letters. I also took small dots where I wanted the LEDs to go. I printed each letter on a single sheet of sticker paper, and then cut out each letter. I used a hole punch for where each LED would go on the letters. Then laying out the 3 16th inch foam core, peel open the sticker paper and lay out the letters on your foam core. The best way to make holes was to use my soldering iron, and it was the exact size of a 5 millimeter LED. And it's time for those LEDs, as one will go in each hole in every letter of your sign, as each negative connection of the LEDs need to be connected together. And then a 330 ohm resistor needs to be attached to each positive end of the LEDs, then all those positive ends of the LEDs need to be connected together. Using some one inch rubber stoppers, I hot glued those to the base of the foam core and then used a couple of pieces of foam core to cover everything up and also a place for the on off switch. I had friends call me who said they could see it from across the stadium. Hey, how you doing? My name is Reno Tondale and I'd like to introduce you to the world's first recumbent hybrid taxi. At 27 luxurious gears, 48 spoke stunt jumping rims, clip-in pedals, and you steer it with your legs. Let me stress you folks, this is a 100% leg-powered machine. And it wasn't until I morphed into the taxi business that I put an electric motor in it, which allowed me to go about 15 miles an hour in any kind of wind with any kind of payload, up to about 750 pounds. And then you add in the iPod, the stereo, boom, it's the best ride in town. I started with an organics engine SUV, which is basically like a tricycle, big tricycle. I did all the aluminum work, all the vinyl work. I have six 12 volts in there right now. Four for the motor, one for the light, and one for the music. I fashioned the wheel wells to resemble the 1930s teardrop campers. I thought it was a beautiful look. Final touch is the horn. 
It's Harpo Marx quality. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.